Uh, good morning, everybody. That is snow and a dirty window. Yes. That's pretty neat. The high today is supposed to be 34. It's 30 right now. And that's not bothering my youngin'. You can hear him in the background jumping around. Hey, buddy, what do you think of that snow? It's going crazy. Yeah, that's right. Pretty cool. Now, it's finally hooked up. I finally got the pipe. And it is smoking up there. That's just the burn off. I should have done the burn off with the pipe on it outside, but didn't uh, didn't have the pipe till today and it's supposed to start raining, so I just hurried up and put this thing together. You can see this uh, thimble wasn't even screwed down yet. It's just kind of, it's wedged in there pretty tight, but it's not not screwed down yet. Uh, I didn't even clean the glass from the, the initial burn up on this. But it does look like it's starting to come out of there. Everything seems to be working okay. Uh, kind of nervous about this whole thing. I forgot to take the stupid stickers off there and there, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, I got my hand up here. Everything's seems to be cool to the touch-ish. I gotta watch this thing like a hawk and make sure I don't burn my frickin' house down, but it is up there. I did have to put up a couple boards uh, for the mounting. Uh, oops, sorry, there's one there and there's one here. That's where the the hanger bracket, you can see the, the screw right there, right there, and down there. It was into that because the way I have it hooked up, oh, let me get this thing straight. The way I have it hooked up, I had the chimney going through the wall with a thimble. That means there can't be a stud there. So, there's a stud over here where that little nail is and then there's a stud over here where this nail is. I held it over this way because it goes out and through a metal roof and then up. Two bends is okay and it seems to be doing alright so far. Uh, it does appear to be dying down. I don't know if I'm going to get any smoke when I open this. Uh, a little bit but there are coals in there. Yeah I need to throw some more wood in there. I gotta give this thing a good burn. I see how it's going to act. This little thing, where are we at? Okay, that used to be a flathead screwdriver. <laughs> it broke. That was awesome. Or a bit that goes in a flathead. That was real neat. Uh, that's why they say wear safety glasses, folks. But there is a tremendous amount of heat coming off of this thing. For all the bigger it is. I mean, that's my hand. This thing is tiny. And it's really doing its thing now of course after it burns off all the oil and everything and I get a good fire and know it's not too dangerous I'm gonna take this out and paint it just this part and then I suppose I'll have to deal with the stink on that again too but uh, I'm gonna paint it black same as this and I'll probably end up taking this bezel off just so I got more room to put stuff up here and maybe cook on it or something anyway uh, time is it now? It's a uh, quarter till three in the afternoon. So I'll get her going and we'll check back in with some more updates. So I guess it seems to be doing okay. Uh, nothing's too scary hot yet and uh, hopefully it doesn't get that way. Uh, the glass did clear up a little bit after it got good and hot and I've had a couple good hot burns in there and had to fill it a couple times. I just put uh, this chunk in maybe 20 minutes ago and this chunk I just put in right before I picked up the camera. I don't know if it's even showing up very good. You know, the glass is still kind of frosted but yeah you know I'll get it all figured out but yeah it's uh, putting off a good bit of heat. Loving this little thing man. This little thing is awesome. So I had a few comments asking about price and where to get them. Uh, okay, so the stove itself was around just a little under 500 US dollars. And the bracket, the shroud stuff back here, and the mount to hang it on the wall was uh, under $200 American dollars. Uh, the chimney kit that I got including the thimble, that, that's what this thing's called, a thimble, uh, was around $200. So, yeah, it, it's expensive if you do all that, but if you buy it in little pieces at a time, 
uh, yeah, I, I absolutely think it's worth it. Let's go ahead and open this. See if we have any smoke. No smoke. And that's cool. Let's go cool look in there. Uh, so less than a thousand dollars, you can have this entire thing uh, up and running and doing what it's doing here. Uh, so yeah, it's it's about the same price as putting a large wood burner in, only it's so much smaller. You don't have the big space and you don't have the the huge clearances on each side. You know they have to worry about. But at the same time, this thing is so small, it doesn't put out the same amount of heat. So there is a trade-off. Would I do this again, knowing what it costs to get this amount of heat? Yes, I would. In fact, I may. I may buy another one of these, just because I like it so much. I may buy the, the next level up. Uh, this is a Cub. The Grizzly is the next level up. And it's like just maybe an inch bigger all the way around or something. But there's a lot of accessories, and one in particular that I like is a grill that hooks on the top somehow. It's not available for the Cub, but it is available for the Grizzly. Uh, now there's not a whole lot of difference in them. Just like I said, just a little bit bigger for the Grizzly, and you know the accessories that you have. Also, with the shroud, uh, there is one that has an air kit that comes in underneath into where your secondary combustion is. Uh, it'll suck air from outside or wherever you, you duck the pipe, just like a lot of other wood burners do. Uh, that's, I may make that upgrade and, and buy that part for this little guy before I go to get the next uh, mini. But I'm really liking it. Cubic Mini Wood Stoves. It's a Canadian company and it takes quite a while to get your parts your, or whatever you ordered in the United States. I don't know if it's any quicker if you live in Canada or if it takes any longer if you live in Mexico. I really don't know. Uh, pretty good company from what I've heard. Uh, I, I know some people say that there's trouble with uh, smoke when you open the door. I So far I haven't had any trouble. So, really liking it and you do have to feed it often it's a very small fire it's a very small campfire in there but it picks up a lot of the heat and the secondary combustion thing well actually I can probably show you that let me shut off the the draft everything dies down um, and maybe you can kind of see the flames doing the swirly stuff up there and, well not so much on this one I did just feed this so Maybe it's not going to do it quite yet. But it was doing it earlier. It was doing the swirly stuff. And I went out and looked at the the hot gas coming out of the chimney. And it was it was clear. And you could just see the heat. Well, pretty neat little thing. Pretty happy with it. Uh, loving every bit of it so far. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Well, thank you for watching. And I will be doing updates on this little thing. I don't know, the light's probably getting low, and you might not be able to see some stuff here, but it is late in the day, so I'll keep y'all updated. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.